my sunlight here and I have the big bag of um, cleaning empties. I just gonna sit further back on the sofa. I um, I didn't do a video last month because I didn't have an awful lot in it. So this is two months worth of cleaning empties and uh, the bag is full. So I thought I would just come on today and quickly kind of film this um, so that it's ready for the end of the month when I post it up. We're almost there, I can't believe it. We're nearly into July, can you? Unbelievable. So the first item I'm gonna pull out is the Dettol and that is the laundry cleanser. So it says kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, odour free freshness for hygienically clean laundry um, up to 12 hours, even at 20 degrees um, fresh cotton. Three litre pack. This wasn't very expensive at all, but I picked it up thinking it was um, like to actually clean the clothes, but it's not. It's just a, a cleanser um, and you put it in your conditioner drawer. And so you put your regular soap powder or washing up liquid or whatever it is you use. I can't think of the word. Um, in the machine or in the drawer as usual, and you pop this in your um, your softener drawer. I use it kind of during the pandemic. I picked it up from Costco, <laughs> hence the size. It was only about a fiver. Um, I picked it up from Costco. And um, I used it for things like um, Steve's uniform and Brandon's uniform, especially during the pandemic, um, when they were like going out to work and I was staying at home. Um, and I also used it for things like underwear and towels. And so yeah, I used it quite a lot, but it did take me a while to get through it. Um, would I purchase it again? Probably not. I think the, um, the stuff that I use is usually okay. Uh, yeah, I think so. But, um, you know, it's not to say I wouldn't pick up any other laundry um, cleaners like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm kind of not feeling it, am I? Can you tell? <laughs> right, the next item I got here was the Lenore. I um, picked on this up from Home Bargains. Ruby Jasmine Divine Large Pack. Yep, had a lovely scent to it. However, yeah, lovely smell. However, when I went onto the website to try and find out the ingredients in the crease release, it also came up with a few things that, that were kind of saying that Lenore don't state whether they're cruelty free or not. Um, so I am trying to avoid products that, you know, I'm I am trying to go more cruelty free and things. So I probably won't be purchasing this one again. I'll stick to the supermarket zone brands um, or brands like Astonish who do actually tell you that they are um, cruelty free and vegan. I mean, who'd have thought? I always thought, how can I, <laughs> how can conditioner, so, you know, how can softener be like anything other than vegan, but they use animal byproducts, which kind of freaked me out a wee bit, but maybe then, you know, I need to look more at things that I'm actually using. I am not vegan, not even a vegetarian, but I just don't expect animal products or byproducts in my softener. Um, this is a bold two-in-one um, summer breeze gel. It's 100% recyclable. Um, it's Procter & Gamble. Oh. I can't say that properly, can I? Procter and... Oh, I can't get the word out. Anyway, it's from P&G, <laughs> and again, um, doesn't tell you if it's cruelty free or, or vegan or anything, but that's not the reason why I wouldn't use this again. The reason why I wouldn't use this again is because I struggle to squeeze it out. Um, unfortunately, yeah, that's the reason why I can't buy this anymore. So if you do see me picking it up in a haul <laughs> video, it's because I've absolutely forgot that I find it difficult to squeeze out. And it's a shame because you're trying to squeeze it into the cup and my hands just don't have the same um, strength that they used to have in them, just with being ill and things. So the next item I've got here is by Star Drops and it's the pink stuff. I think Star Drops is, you know, we all remember that as sugar soap, but now they've launched the pink stuff and it is vegan and um, it, it's it's such a fantastic brand that um, seems to be doing really, really well. So, yep, there we go. The next one is, I'm always gonna have one of these in my cleaning hauls. It's a color absorbance, the color catchers. I just pick these up um, whenever I see them in home bargains or um, 
usually home bargains, but if I see them anywhere, I'll normally pick them up. 30 sheets, and they really do. I don't mix colour loads, so I wouldn't do like a red and a blue, but if I was doing a red and a maybe an orange, I would pop that in, or if I was doing blue and green, or if anything had stripes, and you'd be amazed at actually what comes out into them. Um, the next thing I've got here is just a pack of plain tea lights that I've used. They're unscented, so I would just use these for um, my wax burners. So they burn for up to three hours, which is great. I did get the other ones that burn up to eight hours, but I don't want my wax burn to be on for eight hours. So I have to remember and go and blow them out. I have bought some other ones that are scented um, from Home Bargains recently. But um, I do need to maybe pop back into Morrison's or Ikea or whatever and get some plain ones that just like kind of do for three, four hours maximum. This next one here was Surf. Now I picked this up. Um, oh yeah, look. It tells you that you need to remove this before recycling. Or you can actually keep it. Um, if you wanted to, you know, do the fill-ups, if you've got storage like that near you that let you do fill-ups. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I just like that. Um, so this is Surf Liquid Detergent. It was Midnight Orchid, which is why I picked it up. But then I discovered um, Midnight Orchid and Lily, and I discovered that it was for perfect black, that it was the number one for black clothes. I don't think it made any difference if you used it in any other colour clothes. But once I realised that, I kept it for my black wash. Um, so, yep. There we go. And the sleeve falls off. I think Tesco are doing a trial on the soft plastic. You know how you can recycle all your hard plastic? Uh, well, most of it. Well, that sleeve that I've just took off, that's classed as a soft plastic. And um, you can't widely recycle that. However, Tesco, I think, are trialing it in some of their stores. So I'm looking forward to seeing if our store has it. So that'll be another kind of step, won't it? Um, what else have I got in here from Aldi? Oh, Dentitex, alcohol-free, cool mint, cruelty-free as always with Aldi. Um, this was lovely. It was lovely? I say it like it's like a kind of drink or something. This was nice. Brandon wasn't keen on it, but I liked it. Um... It, alcohol free, it didn't dry your mouth out or anything. You need to be careful when you're buying mouthwashes because some of the ones with alcohol in them will kind of dry your mouth out. Um, oh, so this is probably what I'm going to be trying to stick with going forward. It's the Alma Tropical Lily Floral Liquid Wash. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Like when I say washing liquid, washing up liquid, I don't mean theory, I mean this stuff. Um, so it's the the liquid kind of soap powder. <laughs> Absolutely rubbish. Cruelty free, which is fantastic. And it was my pal Joe Smith that was saying to me that most of the supermarkets own brands will be cruelty free. Um, it just tends to be the bigger brands that might be cruelty free that just don't tell you that they're cruelty free. There we go. And the Aquafresh <laughs> Active White Toothpaste, that was a big pack, wasn't it? Um, what I was laughing about that is when Lachlan came to see, he was absolutely desperate to try it out. Um, and <laughs> I don't know why, because they had their own toothpaste with them. But this had the three stripes and he must have seen it in an advert or something. But he was he could not wait to try it out, which is quite nice. Got him to brush his teeth, no problems. Um, oh, this is from Aldi, Power Force Ocean Toilet Gel. Um, five in one power cleaning, cruelty free. Do you know what though? I've been watching all these people on TikTok, right? And I thought I was doing something wrong. So they've been putting it on and then it sh they show you like, they either mix it up with that blue stuff that foams or they scrub it off. So to me, I put this in my toilet after I've cleaned it. I don't use it to clean the toilet. Um, we did pick one up from Aldi, which was lemon scented and it was yellow. And unfortunately, it just didn't look very nice around the bowl at all. So I did like clean using that one just to use it up because it was awful looking, you know, because you know, if, you, if you've used this stuff, you know that after a couple of fluffies, it goes away, but sometimes you'll see the remnants of it. So the remnants of yellow around your toilet bowl was not what I was looking for at all. But um, yeah, this is good. We'd definitely repurchase. And I've not got too much left. Oh, this is the Blueberry Homemade Glycerin Soap. Not tested on animals. And I picked that up from Homebase. It's about 1.79, but it's a massive bar. You probably cut it in half and it smells amazing. 
Um, this was the Imperial Leather Dreamy Donuts Sweet Treat Soap. And um, the smell, mm, it, it kind of could smell vanilla. And if you imagined a little bit, you could smell donuts. But um, I think I picked up the lemon one recently from Home Bargains and that smells much nicer. But it's a good soap. Do you remember Imperial Leather back in the day when you used to buy it? It had the sticker on it. And I don't know what they stuck that sticker down with, but that sticker stuck until the soap was like a slither. It still had the sticker on it. But these don't have stickers on them anymore. They just have Imperial Leather printed on the bar of soap. And it's quite a big bar of soap as well. Um, yeah, I put my hand sanitizing gel and I picked this up. It says um, Rosden Group UK, um, made in Britain, cruelty free. I picked this up from Superdrug. I had to go to the dentist last year um, and my dentist is in, well, it's in the city. I don't have a dentist over here in Dalgetty Bay. Um, so I had to get two buses in to go and get a prescription for antibiotics for an abscess. Um, and you know, I'm just kind of hoping that there'll be a point soon where we can just fire those things over. And I think we're working on it, I hope, and um, where we can fire prescriptions over um, to the, the chemist without having to actually go and pick it up from the dentist. Um, because I know that we kind of work on that in the GPs as well, don't we? Um, mine's just go straight to the chemist, I don't even have to put it on at the chemist like I used to do at Boots, it just goes straight there automatically. Might be a pandemic thing, but it's great. Um, I just get a text from the chemist let me know what's in. So yeah, I had to get these two buses in and luckily Steve came and picked me up from work. But I realised that I didn't have any hand sanitizer. I had my face mask with no sanitizer and it was really stressing me out because I'm conscious. I've always got hand sanitizer um, in, in my bag. Um, before before the pandemic, um, you know, it was just a regular hand sanitizer. Now you need to make sure that they've got alcohol content in them to kill COVID and what have you. But um yeah, I've always been somebody that hates being on a bus and touching things and then, because you're aware of all the germs and people coughing and sneezing. So you can imagine what it was like by the time I got off the second bus. I think I went straight into, <laughs> straight into Superdrug and picked this up. It was too big for my handbag, really, because it probably doesn't look that big, but it's probably double the size of my handbag one that I've usually got. I always check that that's in my bag before I leave the house now. Um, this is a candle that I got from Antonia's mum. Um, it's wild jasmine. You can still smell it. It smells absolutely gorgeous. And the good thing about this is it can go in my recycling. And last but not least, I'm absolutely gutted. I am so gutted that this is finished. It is my Yankee candle. And it is my reed diffuser. And it was fluffy towels. And... Do you know, I actually got a beautiful um, Yankee Candle bottle um, with the fluffy towels on it before. And I think this one's quite modern, isn't it? But they don't seem to do refills. Now, I think it's such a shame to throw this out. But they don't seem to do refills. I don't have anything up to refill it with in the house. But... Um, yeah, if you know of any good refills that I could pop in here, I've actually just ordered some from Scentsy. I haven't ordered the refills, I've ordered the flower. Um, it's a flower diffuser, so it has, rather than the reeds, it's got a lovely flower and the oil kind of comes up and scents the room via the flower. Um, but they don't do refills, I don't think, in the flowers yet. But if anybody knows of any good like refills for these, um, fluffy towels is one of my favourite scents so if you know of anything similar that I might like let me know and I'll hold on to this um, for a wee while anyway until you know in case anybody gets in touch to say this is amazing and they do refills because it just seems such a shame to throw this whole thing away you know especially with the wood on it as well okay anyway that's me that was my um cleaning empties and I am trying when I go to the shops to pick up different things so I'm not showing you the same things every month and I don't well I haven't put any bleach in this past couple of months because I do um, bleach the toilets once a week um, 
I try not do it any more than that because I, bleach isn't that great for the environment. I follow some cleaning groups and some of the girls are on there are bleaching their toilets like five day, five times a day, um, you know, or, or even every day. I just think once a week for me, um, you know, <laughs> when the boys were it was different. I probably bleach it a wee bit more than I do now, but um, yeah, I usually just bleach them once a week. Um, yeah. So I do still go through a little, a few, a lot of bleach because I use it on my floors as well sometimes, um, disinfectant or bleach. Um, but I just thought, who wants to see like five or six bottles of bleach when you know what bleach looks like? But if I get a different scent or a different smelly one, I will let you know what I think of it and I will pop it in there. Morrison's had one, I think it was berry, and I thought, oh, I need to try that. Um, which is really sad actually thinking, I need to go and try that bleach. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you've got a hero product, by the way, that you think I might enjoy using or that I would like, um, let me know um, and I will try and track it down and give you my opinion on it. As I say, I I don't want my channel to all about to all about to be all about beauty because I'm more than um, beauty and you know I'm not doing the unboxings the same as I used to and I am trying to mix up the content I'm doing a lot of decluttering videos and using things up so anyway guys I've hoped you enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you soon bye guys